Okay, we're going to be continuing from week seven of our assignment A3. And where we left it last was we did a little styling. But our web page still looks pretty blah. I mean, we added some colors and some fonts. What we want to make it look like is something like this, a little more laid out. This happens to be a fixed width layout. So let's go through those steps. This is the startup. To start up, we're going to want to, to first copy over our week seven items our week 7 A3 folder. Make a copy so you can always go back if you blow it and save it into week 8. I'm naming mine week 8 demo for my demonstration here. Under styles, the first thing you're going to want to do is to copy your original WebD .css file. Make a copy of it and name it dash webd dash week 7 .css. That way you can go back if you need to. Just being safe here. So we'll make all the changes in webd .css. But first things first, what we want to do is to normalize our web pages so that they're going to be consistent across different browsers. And so to do this, we're going to be downloading a CSS file called normalize.css. What you do is search for normalize CSS, make browsers render all elements more consistently so it'll look similar between Firefox, Safari, Chrome, Internet Explorer, etc. You click on that, it'll take you to GitHub, his main page, and you want to download whatever the latest version of normalize.css is. So you, when you click that button, you end up with some text here. So instead, you might want to right click and then save it. Save that normalize.css file. And then go to wherever you have your styles files. So A3, my week eight demo, going to my styles folder, and I'm going to save normalize.css. Now if I go in the Internet Explorer, I'm sorry, not Internet Explorer, Windows Explorer, because I'm on Windows, and if I look there on the system level, Oops, wrong folder. Okay. Week 8 demo, A3 styles. You can see that I just added that normalize.css. And now you can go into your brackets, and then you can find normalize.css, and then you can scroll and see it here. So now what you need to do is you need to add normalize.css to your web page. All of them. So go to index.html, first one first, and then right above your regular your other link for 
your webd.css file is you're going to ask Emmet to add you a style sheet. And then you type in styles. So I'm on index.html, styles, and I'm going to choose normalize. All right, and then I will save that change. I will go over to the pages folder to webd.html. I'm going to do the same thing. Remembering that the rel paths, relative paths are different than on index.html. I have to traverse, go up one folder to the styles folder and then choose normalize and that comes before my webd.css and I will save that change and then I'll do the third one on project.html so before webd.css I will Ask Emmet to add a style sheet, and I will traverse up to the styles folder and choose normalize.css and save the change. So now if I go to my week three demo, here was my original, and now that I've normalized it, this is what it's going to look like. You can see that all the margins were reset to zero. So if you had looked carefully at normalize, you could see exactly some of the changes that they've made, little adjustments, so that it'll look similar between different browsers. And instead of doing a full CSS reset, it resets only the ones that were most likely to be changing, namely margins and so forth. Okay. And last week we had added a wrapper. I'm going to go back to index.html. We had added a wrapper div. So we're going to mess up. we're going to be able to play around with things now but because there's a limited amount of time here on this screencast-o-matic I'm going to stop the video right now so that you can set up normalize on your systems <laughs>